Water found in atmosphere of alien planet. NASA has found water in the atmosphere of an exoplanet more than 430 light years away from Earth. The primitive atmosphere of Neptune-like planet Hat P26b is made almost entirely of helium and hydrogen. NASA scientists also detected water in the planet's atmosphere, although it is not a water world. Hat P26b tightly orbits a star some 437 light years away from Earth. When the planet passes in front of the star, scientists are able to look at the starlight that passes through the planet's atmosphere to analyze the atmosphere's chemical composition. According to NASA, the findings show there is surprising diversity in the atmosphere of planets outside of our solar system. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Like space? Well, the stars have just aligned for you. Water World is just a couple of light years away. For the first time ever, astronomers have detected an atmosphere around a planet other than Earth, marking a significant step in the search for extraterrestrial life. Planet GJ1132b is roughly 1.4 times the size of Earth and is located 39 light years away in the Vela constellation. The Earth-like planet orbits a red dwarf star that is smaller, cooler, and dimmer than our own Sun. Dubbed Super-Earth, the planet is believed to be surrounded by a thick atmosphere rich in water or methane, or potentially both. Scientists say one possibility is that GJ1132b is a water world with an atmosphere of hot steam. But with a surface temperature of 370 degrees Celsius, the world is unfortunately not habitable, as life on Earth has only managed to survive in up to 120 degrees Celsius. There's still a lot more to learn about GJ1132b, and scientists hope to be able to observe it more clearly using instruments such as the Hubble Space Telescope, ESO's Very Large Telescope, and the James Webb Space Telescope. Jupiter has a great cold spot, too. Scientists have long known about Jupiter's great red spot, but now it looks like the great gassy planet's famous atmospheric phenomenon has got company. The curtain of light at Jupiter's north pole is called an aurora. It forms when electrons move along the planet's magnetic field and excite atmospheric gases, making them glow. Scientists believe the aurora is directly related to a great cold spot they have observed on Jupiter. The region is more than 160 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than the gas around it. It also appears to be a vortex, meaning it rotates around an axis line. The cold spot is similar in size to Jupiter's great red spot and is around twice the size of the Earth. Over the past 15 years, the cold spot has changed in size and shape. It may be a weather system that waxes and wanes in relation to the intensity of the aurora. Overall, Jupiter's atmosphere has roughly the same temperature as that of Earth, despite being five times farther away from the Sun. The gas giant's superheated atmosphere lies in its great red spot, which is a massive 10,000-mile-wide hurricane with 400-mile-per-hour winds that has been raging for centuries. Jupiter's atmospheric temperatures are around 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit, but the area directly above the Great Red Spot is hundreds of degrees hotter. This suggests a link between the planet's upper and lower atmospheres, despite being separated by a vertical distance of 500 miles. The heat is likely caused by high-energy acoustic waves shooting up from the storm. The waves cause atoms in the air to move around, raising the temperature. Scientists say it was unexpected to see a weather system like the Great Cold Spot in the upper layers of Jupiter's atmosphere. It was previously thought that the temperature contrast caused by the aurora would smoothen out quickly, but it looks like the cold spot may have been there for quite some time. NASA finds star system with seven Earth-like planets. NASA this week unveiled a major discovery of a star system that contains seven planets similar to Earth. What's exciting is that three of them might just be habitable enough to support extraterrestrial life. Using the Spitzer Space Telescope and Earth-based telescopes, NASA scientists have found a star system called TRAPPIST-1, located 40 light-years from Earth. The ultra-compact system contains seven Earth-like planets, with surface temperatures low enough to support water. Three of these planets are believed to be in the habitable zone, close to the system's ultra-cool dwarf star. These planets take 6, 9, and 12 days, respectively, to orbit the dwarf star. Scientists believe their Earth-like planetary compositions may not only support water, but maybe even life. 
NASA calculations reckon that all the newly discovered planets have a rocky surface, but the space agency says more investigation is needed to determine if any of them contain water. In 2018, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope and will use this for further research into the TRAPPIST-1 system. This telescope can reportedly pinpoint water, methane, oxygen, ozone, and other elements of a planet's atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system is located 235 trillion miles from our solar system, which means if you wanted to catch a flight there, the journey would take about 44 million years. So still faster than a Spirit Airlines flight. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. NASA finds more planets than ever before. NASA's Kepler mission, launched in 2009 and with two more years to go, has detected 1,284 new exoplanets, including nine worlds that may be able to sustain life. The Kepler Space Telescope orbits the Sun, which itself is orbiting the galaxy. The telescope searches for planets that lie between two major spiral arms of our galaxy. As the telescope travels, it keeps its sensors pointed toward a particular patch in the Milky Way and has a field of view that stretches 3,000 light years from Earth. At the heart of the telescope are focal plane sensors that monitor the brightness of 100,000 stars simultaneously. Specifically, the sensors detect the decrease in brightness that occurs as planets pass in front of their stars. This is called a transit, and is much like what happened on May 9, 2016, when Mercury passed between Earth and the Sun. Computer simulations then calculate how likely it is that the dip in the brightness was caused by a planet, or an imposter, like a star or a brown dwarf. The Kepler mission has verified 1,284 new planets. 550 appear rocky based on their size. Of these 550, nine are located just far enough from their suns to suggest they may contain water. The total number of exoplanets discovered now stands at 3,200, and a total of 21 of these may be habitable. The Kepler mission shows that with at least 70 billion stars in our galaxy, there may be billions of habitable Earth-sized planets out there that have yet to be discovered. Researchers have found evidence of a planet outside Pluto's orbit. Planet 9 is said to be 10 times the mass of Earth with the power to influence neighboring celestial bodies. While it takes Earth one year and Jupiter roughly 12 years to complete an orbit, it is estimated that Planet 9 takes 10,000 to 20,000 years to circle the Sun. The planet was discovered through observations of dwarf planets and small objects in the outer solar system. Caltech researchers set forth to disprove the theory of a ninth planet but instead found supporting evidence. The whole thing harkens back to the 19th century discovery of Neptune. In 1846, astronomers observed the orbit of Uranus and noticed discrepancies that suggested something was pulling on it. That force became realized as the planet Neptune. Fast forward less than two centuries later, and researchers again noticed deviations in the orbit of objects and dwarf planets in the outer solar system. All of them seemed to orbit on one side of the sun. According to the researchers, there's a 1 in 15,000 chance the behavior of this cluster formation is just a coincidence, making it far more likely that what they discover is the detection of a significantly large planet pulling on the smaller celestial bodies. A worldwide search is now in place for the visual of Planet 9. Once a visual is made, it would officially be welcomed to our solar system as a full-fledged planet. Unlike that dwarf one we booted a few years back. Sorry, Pluto. Scientists find three Earth-like planets circling a tiny star. The search for life beyond our solar system has taken an exciting turn after a Belgian-led team reported finding planets with the potential to host life. Astronomers using the TRAPPIST telescope in Chile have discovered three new planets in the Aquarius constellation. The planets are 40 light-years away and similar in size and temperature to Earth. They orbit an ultra-cool dwarf star named TRAPPIST-1, a dim red sun about a tenth the size of ours and only half as hot. All three could have liquid water on their surfaces and thus be potentially hospitable to life. The two closest planets complete an orbit in 1.5 and 2.4 Earth days, respectively. They receive two to four times more radiation than Earth and may have areas that can sustain life. The third, with an orbital period ranging from 4 to 73 days, receives less radiation and may fall within the habitable zone. 
scientists are already studying the planet's atmospheric conditions using NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, with the Hubble Space Telescope joining in soon. Earth 2.0 Discovered by NASA NASA has announced the discovery of Kepler 452b, the most Earth-like planet that's ever been found. The planet is being named Earth 2.0. Kepler 452b, a planet located 1,400 light years away from Earth, has been announced as the most Earth like planet ever found by NASA. The exoplanet orbits around a G star similar to our Sun in a 385 day year in the constellation Cygnus. Kepler 452b is 5% farther away from its Sun than Earth is to our Sun, but receives the same amount of sunshine as its Sun is 10% larger than ours. Gravity would be about twice as strong on Kepler 452b as it is on Earth. NASA is planning to do a spectroscopic analysis of the exoplanet to gain a better understanding of its atmosphere.